Hey, what's up guys, Kellen and Tim here. Google I.O. 2015, we've got Nexus 6 and Nexus 5 in front of us, both running the brand new Android M uh, developer preview. And so we just wanna walk you guys through some of the new stuff we're noticing already. There's probably gonna be more over time that we're gonna find, but this is sort of the, the upfront stuff you'll notice. Uh, right away. So uh, we're going to go Nexus 6 just because it's a little bit bigger and you guys can see this easier. Um, there's some changes to the lock screen. Well, at least one minor change. You can see down here there's now a voice icon instead of the dialer icon. So you still have your unlock button and your camera shortcut. Um, but instead of quick launching the dialer, you can quick launch um, voice searches and stuff like that. So Google clearly moving you out of making phone calls there. Uh, as far as we know, that's mostly mostly what's new in terms of lock screen. So we'll jump past that. When you get in, into your sort of home screen though, things do just sort of change a little bit here and there. Like you'll notice when you open your app drawer, it's no longer horizontal scrolling. It now scrolls vertically, which is something we're gonna have to get used to. Uh, Google's also doing this thing up here, which we're pretty sure is just sort of a four recent apps you've accessed. They're kind of putting those up there. And then there's obviously search up here. So. If you're searching for Chrome or something like that, you can sort of reduce, especially if you have a ton of apps. And you've got letters over here that sort of show you where you are, and obviously apps are grouped in there. So it's just a little bit different take there being vertical now. I'm not sure why they switched uh, off a of horizontal. Uh, another thing, if we long press here and get into our widgets, this has changed as well. So now you can really see the apps you're working with. Um, the widget screen used to scroll horizontally as well and there was just little tiny lines that said what your app was so it was kind of hard to uh, find specific apps now they make it really obvious and then when you get to an app that has multiple widgets you've kind of got a side scroller um, in there uh, while we're here though let's go swipe this down um, you'll notice there is now a dedicated do not disturb button so they've changed the volume control and the do not disturb setup a little bit so if you if you jump into the quick the quick settings toggle you can you know go full silence alarms only priority and you can sort of adjust that stuff um, we'll just turn that on for now um, but in terms of volume control uh, this used to be all coupled together and it still sort of is in a weird way um, but you now have sort of a system volume control with a little drop down menu that allows you to do media and alarms. So they used to make you jump all the way into settings to adjust those in Lollipop. So they've changed that. Um, but if I go back into uh, Do Not Disturb and I'll just put that on again. And so if you have a Do Not Disturb on and you decide you want to end it, you don't have to go in there. You can just adjust your volume. You actually get shortcuts in there where you could say end now and then it goes back to whatever your previous setting was. So kind of a different tweak there. That's something we're probably going to have to get used to. Uh, one thing we noticed, and we're, we're not sure if this is a change going forward or just temporarily, but the swipe up for uh, Google Now doesn't seem to be there anymore. And you'll notice there's a little note that says cards about your screen just viewing aren't available in this release. We don't know if that means the Google app release or the preview build or what that is. Uh, and you know, Google announced that on tap um, new service with Google Now where if you're in an email or something like that, you can long press on home and get that screen to pop up. So we're not sure if they're just testing that out and they've removed the swipe for now, uh, what they're doing there, but we hope the, uh, the swipe comes back. Uh, if we jump into settings, you'll notice some things have changed in here. So um, if we go into the app manager, uh, you've got all of your list of apps here and you no longer have all those different pages for apps that are running, uh, downloaded apps and all this stuff. It just groups everything all in one. And then if you jump into an app now, you actually get a lot more detail in here. So you obviously have disable and force stop or that would be uninstall if it wasn't a system app. Uh, you've got control over notifications in here, um, how much data it's used since a certain date. That's kind of an odd date, so we'll skip that. Uh, it'll even show you how much battery this particular app has used since your last full charge, which could come in handy. You can clear your defaults and things like that as well. Um, you can also adjust permissions in here. So this is one of the new big Android M things. So there's obviously not a lot of permissions with the Fit app, but you would see things like contacts in here and you can just sort of toggle um, those on and off. Now there is a warning that pops up, especially for apps that haven't been updated for Android M, that sort of say like if you start toggling things off, it may not work properly because it hasn't been uh, built for Android M. So you might want to be careful in there, but you do have those sort of toggles going on. Um, if we jump back out here, and go back to settings. So another new thing we noticed um, almost right away is if you enable your developer options, and you guys know how to do that by tapping on the build number a bunch, um, you'll notice there's this new theme option. So you actually have a light, dark, or an automatic theme, um, and it's really just a settings change. So it changes the settings into a dark versus white. So apparently a lot of people weren't all that happy with the bright white uh, lollipop settings. So they've given you an option to go dark, 
if you want. And then there's an automatic setting, and we've tried to get the that to uh, switch between white and 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 light and dark depending on our situation. We haven't gotten to work yet, but it may it may or not may not be a thing. Um, the other thing we're noticing in here is the show system UI tuner, and uh, if you enable it and back up one, you'll notice right below about phone, you now have the system UI tuner thing. And if you jump in here, there's a quick settings option. And essentially it gives you control over all of your quick settings toggle. So you can actually drag things around or rearrange them. You can add new tiles and you can even grab them and drop them into delete. Now I was playing with this on the Nexus 5 and removed some stuff and tried to add it back and I think I broke things. So you may want to be really careful in here. It's probably some sort of alpha feature that we're not supposed to use yet. But you can see quick settings is listed, but it could be one of those things where they just continue to grow that and let you sort of customize the way Android sort of looks and works, which is kind of cool. Uh, final thing then, uh, there's obviously going to be a lot more, but this is just sort of the stuff we're seeing now. But uh, the final thing is Easter egg. So if we uh, tap on the Android version, you do get the M for uh, Android M, and then you can tap on that a little bit. It doesn't do much, but if you long press on it, the Easter egg is the sort of shruggy guy. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's sort of the stuff we're noticing right now. Uh, most of this stuff, for the most part, has, has been the same. It looks kind of like Lollipop, but there are definitely some tweaks, just in the app drawer and some other settings and things like that. So as we find more, or if you guys find more, be sure to let us know. Otherwise, we're Droid Life. Peace.